IOTA, Ionic Search System. IOTA is a unique long-range ion surge device with a horizontal range up to 200 meters. underground depth detection range up to 20 meters. This device works best with metal deposits underground buried for periods of 15 years and more. The more time the deposits are underground, the higher saturation rate for the ionic field is produced. The device also gives the user clear sound feedback indicating the location of the target and a gradual increasement in the levels of the sound indicator when the target is approached gradually. Initial setup After installing the battery, make sure it is firmly set. Press and hold the power key until the splash screen appears. The language selection menu will appear shortly after. Select interface language, date and time setup screen will show up. Device main menu. The main menu will show a status bar with two main icons on display. A. Search icon. This icon proceeds to the search operation, utilizing the high-gain antenna sensor of the device. Time enables the ions to form a highly saturated field that can be easily sensed by the device. B. Settings icon This icon accesses the device settings menu which includes language, date and time, display, sound, power, storage, security, info, and reset. Quick Settings menu To access the Quick Settings menu, press gear key on the far left of the keypad. When pressed, the title in the status bar will be replaced with settings icons. The first icon is the display brightness. It can be set by pressing up or down to increase or decrease the brightness intensity. The second icon is the sleep mode. It can be set to 5 settings, 15, 30, 45 or 60 seconds or be set off completely. Third icon is power mode. It can be set by pressing OK to change the power mode into either optimum mode, which is indicated by a spark on the battery icon, or to power save mode, which is indicated by a recycling triangle on the battery icon. Fourth icon is sound. Pressing up or down will increase or decrease the current value, while pressing OK will change the sound value for the device keys or the search. Fifth icon is the time setting the current time by pressing up or down. Note, to exit the quick settings menu, press gear or back on the keypad to go back into the menu. The quick settings menu is accessible in every menu with a visible status bar. How to use the device? Select search icon from main menu. Make sure the high gain antenna module is connected to the device. The sensitivity bar to the right, the gain bar to the left, and at the bottom center, the signal bar. The signal bar should be balanced before proceeding into the search process. Ground balance 1. Lift the device in a horizontal position to the ground. Do not move during the balancing process. 2. Make sure the sensitivity bar on the right and the gain bar on the left are set to the lowest value. 3. 
press left key on the keypad to move the cursor over to game, indicated by two little green arrows. 4. Increase the gain value and notice the changes on the bottom bar. Keep increasing the gain bar value until the bar is set back to the middle and the tone stops. 5. Now move the cursor over to sensitivity. It is recommended to increase the bar value to the middle. The sensitivity level could be increased or decreased according to the regional conditions. Then point the device towards target direction to hear the signal effect on the device. If the signal is weak and slow, increase the sensitivity until the signal is clear. The tone speed will increase as the target gets closer. Starting the search. Hold the device horizontally and move it right and left until a signal indicating a probable target is received. Then track that signal by moving towards target and watching the device display. Note that the closer to the target the device is, the more rings will light up on the screen and the sound will increase as well. The bottom indicator shows the received signal intensity. The rings will light gradually as the distance to the target decreases. When the highest level signal occurs, the indicator in the middle will light up. Locating target point and checking target. To locate the target exact point, move the device up and down while performing the tracking process. That will identify the signal direction which provides the right tracking path to the target point. For more accurate target point locating, stand over the probable target point and aim the device towards the target. Then move forward until passing the target point which will be indicated by a drop in the signal intensity on the device display. Repeat this process from four different directions to identify the probable target borders and enclose it more accurately. Depth measuring After locating a target position by received signals intensities, it is recommended to mark the target precise location. Then comes these following steps. 1. Select Depth icon on the search display. 2. After accessing Depth Meter interface, a screen will prompt pressing the grip key. 3. Point the device vertically towards the ground and press the grip key once, then start walking straight forward until the tone from the device indicates the end of depth measuring process. 4. The device processes the static electricity intensities of target ions, and based on that, the results will show the estimated depth value. 5. The depth meter interface shows an illustration for the ground levels up to 20 meters. After the measuring process is finished, a line will show the determined depth and the value will be shown in the designated box. Save. Selecting Save icon on the search interface and pressing OK will take the results on display and store them in the device memory for future use. The result contains the gain and sensitivity levels at the signal intensity along with the date and time. To view saved results, the user can go to Setting, then Storage and select the system. A list of the previously saved results will show. The user then has the option to either view the result or delete it.